Hey you guys, it's me, Britta, your Director of Children's Ministry here at Ringgold Methodist. I wondered if you feel renewed. We are almost a full month into our new year. I wondered if the feeling of a new year is still with you. We are talking about being renewed. Pastor Chris is in his sermons and on Sunday nights with our kids programming and youth and even adult small groups, we're all talking about being renewed together, which is a good thing to do as a community together. We're talking about the same thing. This week, our focus is on being renewed with a steadfast spirit. It makes me think of the song, create in me a clean heart. Oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Those are words to a song that it's actually talking about a steadfast spirit where you feel renewed and energized. I have felt that at times and I have also felt where I want that. And I like the idea of exploring ways that we can help one another be renewed and that we can pray for one another to be renewed. This week in Sunday school, we're gonna be talking about Jeremiah, who was a prophet. God made Jeremiah to be a prophet in his day and time. He got to tell people what God wanted him to tell them. And just like Jeremiah was known by God and even had a purpose from God before he was born, we are the same way as children of God. So I love the idea that we can think about how God knew us before we were born and how God has purpose for us. If you've been here during wiggle worship on a Sunday morning, you have been learning the Apostles' Creed and some motions to help us remember, I believe in God the Father Almighty, all those motions that we've learned so that we can remember that statement about what we believe. And I'm hopeful that we will be able to do that in worship sometime soon and we can lead all of the people in a celebration of that statement of our faith. Don't forget we've got nighttime things. On Sunday nights, we're focused on being renewed. We're learning how to be generous like Jesus was generous with all of our abilities. And then on Wednesday nights, we have game nights. So I hope that for one of those, you'll come join me or on a Sunday morning, you are never too young to be part of the mission and ministry here at Ringgold United Methodist Church. You belong to God and you are part of this church family. You become like Jesus as we grow together and we get to bless others along the way. Stay tuned right after this and you will get to see a cartoon where we get to talk about Jeremiah the prophet and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Ada's been in Pastor Donna's office for a while. Did she say what she wanted to see Ada about? No, it's a mystery. Oh, what if it's bad news? Oh, what if it's bad news about me? Why would Pastor Donna give bad news about you to Ada? Well, because she knows I wouldn't take bad news very well. Ada's the perfect person to tell me. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. What was it, Ada? Give it to me straight. Am I going to be all right? Um, yes, Clara. So what did Pastor Donna want? She wants me to speak on Jeremiah Sunday, the one time a year a single kid is picked to do a presentation all on their own about Jeremiah. I wonder if other churches have Jeremiah Sunday. When I asked what I should say about the prophet Jeremiah, she said she knows I can do it. Wow, that's actually kind of vague. You're really young for something like this, Ada. Yes, yes I am. Oh, it must be a huge amount of pressure. I know. Like the kind of pressure you'd feel if an elephant was sitting on your shoulders and... Uh... Is that what I look like when I panic? You wave your arms more. Do you think she's out here? 
She has to be. We've looked everywhere else. Ah! Get back! It might be a badger! Come on, Clara. I've never seen a badger out here. If anything, it'd be a rabbit. Ah! Yep, she definitely waves her arms more. Ada! We found you! I'm not coming back until Jeremiah Sunday blows over. Why? It's way too much! Look at all these books! Where did you get them all? Well, while I was panicking, I ran to the library. And did some research on Jeremiah and checked out some books. Just to be sure the project was huge and hopeless. Wow, you did all that while panicking? Yeah, usually I'm pretty good under pressure, but I am not the right person for this. Pastor Donna picked the wrong kid. It sounds pretty overwhelming. Pastor Donna is calling on me just like God called on Jeremiah. I'm gonna be miserable and try not to do it, and then she'll say, yep, just like Jeremiah. Jeremiah didn't want to be a prophet? No, he tried to run and hide and hold his tongue, but in the end, he couldn't help it. God had called him, and that was that. So, Jeremiah actually ended up doing what God wanted? Well, yeah, God knew Jeremiah could do it, but I'm not so sure I can. But you just did. I did? Hey, that's right. I didn't know anything about Jeremiah, and now I do. All because you couldn't help but do what Pastor Donna already knew you could do. Wow, it's kind of freaky how well she knows you. Huh. Um, can we go now, please? There's a squirrel that's been staring at me for a while up here. 